Hi, I'm Ted Decker. I'm here to talk about my new book, Bone Man's Daughters, which is a thriller coming out from Center Street and Shet. Yeah, I actually grew up in the jungles of Indonesia amongst cannibals. Um, a very unique and unsettling kind of environment for most people. For me, it was just natural. And it was in the jungles that I began to fantasize and began to imagine and began, you know, I began to connect with other realities because in that environment I was a stranger. I was like the odd man out. And so that's, that was my formative years, really my imagination took root in the jungles of Indonesia. So Bowman's Daughter is a novel about a killer who's obsessed with finding the perfect daughter. And see, so he abducts young women and when they fail to meet his expectations, his demands, his his standards for the perfect daughter. He kills them, and he does it by breaking their bones. All of Texas is horrified by this prospect of this killer that's breathing down their necks. And then one day he takes the wrong man's daughter, a father who's estranged from his own daughter. But when he discovers that his daughter, his estranged daughter, this rebellious teenager has been taken, he goes ballistic, and he goes, after Bone Man himself. One thing that people may not know is that as a father, I went through an experience once that was very disturbing when one of my own daughters rebelled and turned her back on me for a short period of time and threw herself into a very dangerous situation. And I, it was the most horrifying experience to me as a father. I could not believe what I was witnessing and the danger that she was putting herself in and she didn't see it and I wanted to literally rip this boy's throat out. Not really, but I felt that way. I felt this incredible rage toward this person who was presenting danger to her. And I think a lot of the emotion that is in this book comes from my own experience. In my stories, like Bone Man's Daughter in particular, the most interesting characters are not myself, not the protagonist, because they're, I'm every man, I'm writing every man and every woman thrown into this case, in this situation. It's the ones that, imp it's the characters that impact the story. Bone Man, evil, Bethany, um, ultimately good. And they're become, they become very, very interesting. Also, my, my novels really are like mirrors. I like them to be like mirrors. I write the story, but ultimately, when it's finished, I hold it up. You read it, and what you get out of it, what you see, well, it really depends on you, doesn't it? It all depends on which character you identify with and what you see. And that, to me, is a more interesting question. What is your favorite character? What do you see? What scares you? What are your fears? Um, and to the extent that a, mirror, that a novel can truly be a mirror to, in which you see yourself, in which you take the journey with the protagonist and experience what they're experiencing, it's a very, very su successful uh, story. So yeah, hold on tight. Turn on the lights with this one. You'll need them. <laughs>